Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Ankal Jal working as an SD at PayPal. Or today, our guest Rohan, and he has tracked the full time offer at Amazon. So in this video, he'll be sharing all the details that he has and the entire journey of his placement season. And I've also done previously Amazon videos that were only for internship that I will attach in this link. So you can also watch that after this video. Now we'll start this video with a brief introduction. So Rohan, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi. So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Rohan Mittal. I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's in computer science engineering from Vellore Institute of Technology, Vellore campus. I've always been passionate about technology and developing new customer-centric products, and hence I have been placed through campus placements in Amazon with an internship plus full-time offer. And today I'm here to share my experience with everyone. Okay, so if I talk about the total applicants versus the total selection, so can you share some numbers on this, <clears> like how many that applied versus how many students were finally selected for this? Yeah, so there were uh, three thousand four hundred forty-six students that uh, had applied for the selection process, uh, out of which sixty-two candidates were selected for the interview process, and finally thirteen students were extended and also. Okay. So generally, like in uh, like if the college is having more number of students, so that is really difficult for a candidate mm -hmm. to crack that interview. Okay, so if we move to the next uh, question, that is CGPA. So what is the importance of CGPA for a candidate when he's sitting for placements? Okay, uh, so CGPA is uh, really important for uh, company for top tier companies because uh, they need to shortlist. Candidates from, uh, as you saw, there are three thousand four hundred forty-six students that applied for Amazon. So, in order to cut down uh, between the good applicants, they uh, tend to keep a high uh, CGPA bar. So that's why it's really important to have a good CGPA. It's preferable to always have it above nine and at least eight point seven on the safer side. Okay, so as you saw, that CGPA is very important. So, what was the criteria for Amazon? So, the eligibility criteria for Amazon was a CGPA of six point zero and above in both tenth and twelfth standards, and the pursuing degree. Uh, and then all candidates from M Tech uh, Computer Science Engineering, B Tech Computer Science Engineering, B Tech EC, B Tech IT, and their respective specializations were eligible for the for the examination for the selection process. Okay. So yeah. now we'll be moving with the uh, placement process that is there, and every placement mostly starts with a coding round. So how was the coding round for Amazon? Yeah. So mm -hmm. there were uh, mainly four selection uh, rounds in the selection process. So firstly, uh, there was an online coding round which consisted of seven debugging questions, two coding questions, a psychometric test, and finally twenty-eight logical reasoning questions. Uh, after this, sixty-two candidates were selected for the uh, for the further interview process. That is the personal interviews. In that, the first interview was a, a, in the first interview they asked about a brief introduction that was both the interviewer and me. Then two uh, two questions on data structures, uh, in which uh, it is recommended that you always uh, they mostly ask questions from graph, binary search tree, merge sort, or you can see the deep uh, DSA topics. Then in the second interview, we had again a brief introduction. Then one uh, question on data structures. Uh, for me, it was a graph, a question on graphs. And then second question was a behavioral question. And in the third interview round, I had a uh, one basic coding question uh, and one behavioral question. But uh, since I had lots of uh, time remaining uh, at my hand, so the interview asked me. Two questions. Okay. So uh, the answer that he has gave also include the interview rounds that were there, and the basic difference between the interview rounds for a full time offer and an internship is basically the number of rounds. So generally, uh, sort uh, of you can see. Yeah. yeah. So generally, in the internship, if you are getting an internship offer only, so generally they prefer to take either two rounds at most. But if you are getting a full-time offer, they usually take three or even more rounds. So, 
how if we move with the re results for this uh, process like uh, for this company so how are the result declaration for this because right now everything is uh, virtually conducted so how was your experience so since amazon is a slot one company the results were declared uh, through a zoom meeting with all the slot one selected students uh, this this uh, result declaration was inaugurated by the chancellor of vit uh, the special thing about uh, this was that we were at home with our families and hence our family were able to watch the meeting as well uh, just to clarify slot one companies are those which come in the beginning of the placement season uh, in vit these included eight companies namely amazon disha uh, dight microsoft work india morgan stanley paypal and uran okay and the list that he has gave uh, varies from year to year so it can be different last year and it can be different the next year so okay. generally like most of the companies are same now if we move <clears throat> with the strategies or the preparation tips that you can give and how you prepared for this uh, placements um so the strategy that worked for me is uh, it's a five step thing so its first is uh, manage time second is learn third is implement fourth is earn and fifth is repeat and uh, most importantly uh, you need to have self belief uh, without that your preparation process will be a little shaky so if you don't believe in in yourself uh, you'll not be able to prepare well uh, then in order to prepare for the coding rounds of the interviews uh, uh, you can study you can solve questions on lead code and geeks for geeks and also do uh, do some courses uh, if possible from geeks for geeks or udemy um then preparation from amazon point of view so the amazon interviewers use a behavioral interview technique known as star so star stands for situation task action and result so you will be asked to describe a situation you were in uh, a task which you had to do and the actions you personally undertook in that situation and the results you achieved from those from those actions then in the technical questions uh, will re will relate specifically to the amazon's leadership principles uh, there are 14 uh, leadership principles at amazon so you are expected to cover uh, the technical elements in relation to the role uh, in your answers so the uh, strategy that he has mentioned for star so you can use this strategy for any companies that you are setting for and it is a really good strategy to answer your questions now if we talk about the role of clubs and chapters that we have in most of the colleges so were you a part of any club or chapter and how it is important or how much it is helpful in many placement yeah so i am part of uh, a chapter a technical chapter at vat it's called uh, iete uh, platform being institution for electronics and telecommunication engineers so according to me clubs and chapters play a very important role in getting a good placement since you interact with many people from different branches and intellect and also we get to work on many projects with them so hence you get to learn many tech stacks so being a part of them helps you in gaining confidence and improving your leadership and speaking skills but uh, the main benefit of them is that we get to work and interact with the seniors who help and guide us throughout our time at the university so basically you get to make a lot of good contacts as well now as we know that this is a virtual season because of this pandemic so what are some of the pros and cons that you have felt for this because the coding round interviews and everything was virtual okay so according to me online interviews were better than the offline interviews if the it would have been offline so the pros of online interview process is that mostly what you are assessed on are your according to me are your speaking thinking and problem solving skills also we are less nervous since we aren't exactly in front of an interviewer and are sort of in a comfort zone uh, but when we are on campus giving an on offline interview we have to take a lot of things into consideration like your appearance 
your body posture and many other things apart from these mentioned for an online interview uh, the only con of online interview that i can think of is that uh, there is a lack of personal touch which you would have got in an offline interview but other than that i, I would definitely prefer an online interview okay so now as we know that you are in the final year of your college and you have completed most of the thing so how uh, like how can we uh, be more productive in the college time and some of the things that you have done which can be shared to the juniors okay so um so the first thing i'm going to start from the first year okay so the first thing to do is to attend as many workshops as you can in the college technical fest uh, to explore many domains and technologies and then choose the one that you like the most and then work on them okay so if you go and attend a workshop on android app development and if you like it okay then you take it up and start working on it okay so attending these events will also help you identify seniors who can help you and also identify various clubs and chapters okay because at the end of the year you have club recruitments so if attending these events will let you know what that particular cha- club or chapter does and then you can apply accordingly uh, then joining a club or a chapter is advisable because of the reasons uh, that i already mentioned uh, previously uh, then working on projects is very important because this helps you to work on different ideas and technologies with different people uh, hence which will uh, help you in gaining experience then uh, doing an internship during the course of the degree is important uh, very important in fact to gain industrial experience so all in all whatever you do in college will reflect in your resume hence uh, enhancing your profile and increasing your chances at getting a good, good placement so basically my point being that you have to be very productive in college uh, to be successful during the placement season okay. so the first point that he has mentioned to attend many workshops so in fact even i had attended that android workshop in my first year so yeah that thing like those, these things are very helpful if you are in a first year instead of watching some series or movies So you can also attend these things. Do do those also, but yeah, take out some time for more of these skills as well. So okay, so if we move with the next topic, that is resume and the projects and work experience that we can have in that. So what are some of the things that you have done for improving these things? Okay. Ah, uh, firstly, without projects and work experience, you have less chances to be selected for the interview process. second even if you are selected for the interview process you might not be able to reply to the interviewer's questions uh, where they actually want you to answer from your personal experience on the basis of the projects and internships that you have done so your resume must be strong enough to impress the company at the first go it should prove that yes this candidate is good for our company and shall be able to raise the bar for the other candidates okay so at the first look first glance itself they should be confident that yes this guy is perfect for uh, for our team so your resume must consist of uh, a basic introduction about you education uh, professional experience uh, which can include your internships uh, part time jobs if you have done any then uh, skills uh, then programming languages uh, academic projects achievements uh, extra curricular activities and a picture of yourself uh, but this is subject to the company if the recruiters they will usually specify if they require a photo or not if they do not require please do not put a picture in your resume then uh, work experience is very important for you to gain the industrial experience and uh, this will especially help you stand out as compared to the other applicants okay so work experience entails working with professionals in a professional uh, capacity on a production application uh, then learning good development practices then uh, improving your communication skills 
uh, gaining leadership skills and also increasing the ability to take ownership of the project that you are doing. Okay, so as you mentioned that the resume should be impressive for the company. So in fact, even in one of my interviews that I had given at one company, which I don't want to say, uh, the interview at the first, like the first line of the interview is that uh, your resume looks very good and you have done a lot of things. So that is the first line from which the interview started. So yes, the resume is really very important if you are uh, sitting in your interviews. So yeah, that was most so of the one way. So in one way, you can say your first uh, impression is your best impression. Mm -hmm. So your resume is basically your first impression. So before you, uh, when at the time of applying for a company, the first thing they ask you apart from your details is your resume. After that only, they will select you for the further rounds. So in few companies, uh, they have a resume based selection process as well. So it's not like you apply for the company, you directly get to attend the coding round. It, few of the companies have a resume based selection process. So if uh, 3000 people have um, applied, maybe they might cut it uh, short to 1000 people on the basis of resume itself or even lower. So that's why resume is very important to actually clear the first bar. Okay. So thanks for clearing that out because many times like students are not focusing much on yes. the resume and make sure that it is only of one page and not more than that because a three or four page resume is not uh, very good. So yeah, that so was three or four pages is not uh, preferable, but uh, two pages is fine on a college level because uh, what you want to highlight more, much more is your projects that you've done. So as many projects as you can write, write them, but those should be your projects, which you can actually talk about if the interviewer asks. So you should not go blank during the interview because they might cross check something. Okay, and GitHub projects don't work here. So it should be your yeah. project. So that was most of the things that we have discussed in this video. And if you want to give any final tips for the juniors who are watching this video. Okay, so my first tip would be to strategize your work and your time. Okay, so this will help you to not only learn many things, but it will all so help you to learn better. Okay. Then a tip for the interview stage. Okay. Is that do not go with any expectation. Okay. This is, this, this is what I'm telling for the people who are going for the interviews now. So do not go with any expectation because this will make you nervous and hence uh, increases the chance of uh, you wrecking the interviews. Secondly, don't get intimidated by the interviewer. Okay. Just be calm and reply to the questions asked to you. Then finally, don't forget to ask questions regarding uh, the question to the interviewer because this will indicate your analytical skills. So basically what I mean is, if uh, the interviewer poses a question on data structures, you should be able to find loopholes in the question. Okay, you must be able to say that, yeah. Sir, is this what you want? Okay, because sometimes the question might not directly indicate that. Okay, so you can ask that question. And at the end of the interview, make, make sure that you have few questions ready for the particular company. Okay, because people like people like that. Okay, interviewers like that, especially in the uh, HR interview. Okay, it also indicates that you know a little bit about the company from beforehand. That's why you're able to ask the question. Okay. Yeah, so that is the thing that we have for this video and I hope you have found something useful and don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done. So yeah, that's it for the video and we'll meet in some next, uh, some other video. So bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.